headed over to Hot Wheels house. We're gonna go check out his rat rod. He's uh, did several updates on it over the past few weeks. I've been trying to get over here, but it's just like always something pops up or just don't make it over this way. But I'm over here now, so we're gonna pop in on old Hot Wheels and uh, see what he's got going on. If you've been following along, you'll know what I'm talking about, but he's got a 54 Chevrolet rat rod. He originally uh, put an 80s model Buick V6 in it. He drove that around for quite a while. And then he picked up a 400 uh, a few weeks ago and uh, tore it down. He's gonna put some Vortec heads and stuff on it. But then he ended up having a couple busted pistons. So he picked up a 350, put that in there, I think. And then I believe it started knocking or eating up the bearings or something like that. And he pulled that one out and got another one. And uh, I think it had low oil pressure or something. I don't know. He's done went through like four or five small block Chevys in the past few weeks. But he finally ended up with a, a good one or what he thought was a good one. And he put that in there, put the Vortec heads on it. He run it around for about a week or so, I guess. I was supposed to get up with him a few days ago when I uh, had that motor in there and we was going to go see what she'd do. But it ended up slinging a rod. So he got tired of dealing with the small blocks, I guess. And he picked up a LS or had a LS laying around, 4853, one or the other. And he threw that in there and he pulled the intake and carburetor and stuff off of old red is a 90 model chevrolet truck with the 53 swap so he pulled the intake carve all that off of it and put it onto the little rat rod and i believe he got it running today so we're gonna head over there now and drop in on him and see what he's got going on i don't even know where the hell to pull to he got so much shit out here and not much room <laughs> Yeah, here we go. This will work. So here she is, old rat rod. Yeah, she got a little LS in her now. No more V6. Only uh, got a, a real motor in it. He went inside to get his shirt on or something. I think he was all wet. Been out here working in the mud and rain. This is the original motor he had in it. Yeah, you got a couple of them laying around here now, don't you? Yeah, so this is the original motor you had in it. Yeah. That's the one you just pulled out of it, slung a rod. Yeah, I had that one in it too. And what was wrong with it? Busted chilling the wall. Frozen busted. You use that one over there too? Locked up. Locked up. Didn't even get a chance to use it. So Couldn't how many how many small blocks you go through? Three, one, four? Two, three. I got one at the shop. That plus makes a, four. And plus the four hundred. Yeah. Plus four hundred. That makes six. How many Bust the pistons that I have. One. Just one. Couldn't remember. That's the one you just pulled out. That one didn't even last a week, huh? Week. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a four eight. Four eight. Yeah. You just got it running today, huh? Or yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Well.
But this started rattling on me. Do 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 I can hear it rattling. Get off in that motherfucker a little bit. Running good, hell yeah. I took homeboy from work. Rolled him by his place. And on the way to his place, he's like, look, he said, all you've been doing is talking about this bastard. Talking about the 350? Yeah. He said, all you've been doing is talking about this bastard. I said, yeah. He said, are you going to stab off in it or am I going to have to stab off in it? I was like, ah, I, got my, I pulled back second gear and stabbed off in it. Well, I don't know how hard it turned. I know it turned. Rust started coming out of the cab like tiny pieces of rust. It looked like sandblasting because it got rough. We hopped the hill when she popped back down like that. I let off. Homeboy's like, yeah, I'm glad you let off. Why is that? He said, you know we left the ground back there? I'm like, yeah. Broke the shock off. Damn. Welded the shock back on. Drove it one time to uh, my old lady's mom's house to pick up a refrigerator. That's all the way over there in Grand Bay, Wilmer Road. Right there off the lot. So old Red got sacrificed for the rat rod. It's really finna get it. <laughs> this thing keeps turning out to be a good motor like it is. <laughs> that thing's finna get a turbo charger. Well, hell, you want to take this thing with no weight on the ass end down a wet road? Yeah. With no seat belts? Yeah. Sounds like a good time to me. Yeah. I'd like to <laughs> weld them, uh, them damn big, big, big stoppers first, though. All right. Well, whatever you want to do, <laughs> let's do it. I hope this quietens that. All right. Is. So, what the hell you got going on here? Into the oil filter. Buy a full lot of motorcycle muffler. Weld on in a three-inch pipe. Whiten that bastard down. Take the groan out of it. It yeah, worked yeah. in them other mufflers. It quietened it right on up. Yeah, yeah. All right. Watch it. Man, I'm going to be honest with you. This thing looks like a fucking death trap. <laughs> but you know what? I think we'll be all right. <laughs> That's the worst one I've ever done. <laughs> $14. Yeah, and cut up two good oil filters, huh? Yeah, for a Ford. <laughs> Only way I like them. <laughs> I'll cut one more. Yeah, how you like it? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Crawfish. Oh, it's a damn spark plug. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Crawfish. Starting to make it look like a home in here, ain't you? Somewhat. Got some cup holders, some decorations. Hell yeah. Hooking up your tack. Yeah. Might as well. Might as well want to know how hard she's turning. Well, it's in there. But she ain't gonna move. Starter button.
coming back of us. <laughs> hey, they don't give no fuck. It don't matter. I swear to God, I ain't even had none of the tent on this bitch. I rolled it over and pulled the water out of it. Pulled that engine rust down with wrapping on that bike. Six gallons in it. Hell yeah. Eight fifty light fuel. video he's done pulled the 4853 out and swapped in a 60 and uh he took it to the track i think last weekend and ran it got a time on it and stuff like that but y'all don't uh click off just yet i got some clips i'm gonna throw in at, after this of hot wheels doing the small block swaps and stuff like that so, uh, a few videos that he took and i might throw in a few clips of him at the track running it with the 60 in there and uh hopefully we'll have a video of it with the 60 in it here coming up soon so y'all be on the lookout for that and we might do another race between uh me and hot wheels and the c10 but uh yeah y'all let me know if y'all want to see that rat ride with the 60 in it just a stock 60 no cam or nothing like that versus my c10 with the little zz4 350. y'all let me know if y'all want to see that which i'm sure y'all do and you know i want to see it too so we'll probably be doing that here soon also but yeah hopefully y'all enjoyed a little hot wheels rat rod update but uh y'all just let us know what y'all think about it and we'll see y'all in the next one. later i got your he 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 out with the v6 in with a 355 see that runs good <laughs> no more v6 well look at there boy ain't no motor in her anymore <laughs> what the fuck done happen? You see that chip? Oh, it's getting close. It getting close. Well, I got it sitting in the truck. I got to finish the motor mounts. It's sitting in it though. I got the old one out, the new one in.
Hey, y'all see that? Y'all see that? Look at there, boy. Mmm. Shine down there, boy. Shine, hurry up. I'm on TikTok. Or whatever. Hey, shine. Shine on up. Yeah, look at there. Well, having trouble shining it, but she started rattling, taking my buddy home today from work. So, cack, 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 boom. From what it looks like, it done busted more than one rod. She got holes over here, too. Well, I'm putting an LS in it this time. I'm over this shit. LS sitting in it. I got I got a lot to do. It's sitting in it, though. Exhaust manifold to clear it, too. Thank you. 